So, NEO 2 and Avatar 3, two upcoming drones from DJI that are generating a lot of buzz. They're not out yet, but that hasn't stopped us from diving deep. And if you've been following our channel, you know we've been tracking DJI's every move. Both are expected to launch soon. They may both fall under the FPV category, but they're definitely not the same. So why does this comparison matter? We're going to break it all down. Yes, we're working off speculation. No official specs yet. So we don't know how they'll perform in the real world, but we're hopeful. Let's get into it. If you're wondering, why compare these at all? Fair question. On paper, they don't even sit in the same category. Different price points, different goals. One's entry level, the other is pro tier. And that's exactly why this comparison matters. DJI is giving us options. One for beginners who want a taste of FPV flight without breaking the bank, and one for enthusiasts or pros ready to push aerial limits. But what's not clear is just how far apart they are, where they overlap and who each drone is actually for. A lot of people are stuck in between. They want FPV, but don't know if Neo 2's simplicity is enough or if they'll outgrow it too quickly. And with both drones likely using the same goggles, same motion controllers, and a similar FPV interface, the decision becomes less about price and more about how you plan to fly. Let's make it easier. Starting with the physical differences, the original Neo was tiny, a palm-sized FPV drone with a solid build and full prop guards. It looked like a toy until you saw the 4K footage it could capture. Its biggest flaw, a loud high-pitched whine, not ideal for quiet environments or flying discreetly. Neo 2 seems to address that, we expect a foldable design similar to the DJI Mini or Flip series. Foldability doesn't just improve portability, it also enables quieter, more aerodynamic props. Toss it in your hoodie pocket or backpack and you're good to go. Now contrast that with the Avatar 3. This drone isn't trying to hide, it's rugged, built for indoor freestyle, risky moves and surviving crashes. With an enclosed ducted fan design and likely improved prop guard reinforcement, it's designed for aggressive flying. Neo 2 is rumored to feature a 1x1.3-inch sensor up from that tiny half-inch on the original. That means smoother footage, better detail, and enhanced low-light performance. We're expecting 4K at up to 100 FPS, 48 MP stills, and a 155-degree field of view. That's impressive for a compact FPV drone. Avatar 3, on the other hand, may come with a one-inch CMOS sensor, something you typically find in premium drones. Better dynamic range, superior low-light performance, and yeah, possibility of raw video recording. If you're just capturing moments, Neo 2's camera is probably enough. But if you're chasing cinematic quality or building professional reels, Avatar 3 is the one to watch. This is where the difference becomes more pronounced. Smaller drones tend to shake a lot. The original Neo had a basic single axis gimbal and relied heavily on EIS. It was okay for slow pans, but struggled with fast moves or tight turns, often resulting in noticeable bumps or wobbles in the footage. Neo 2 is expected to improve on this, possibly adding a two axis gimbal and enhanced EIS. That would make it viable for casual flights and light follow shots. Avatar 3, however, is in a different league. Reports suggest it might feature a hybrid stabilization system, blending mechanical gimbal stabilization with real-time electronic correction. That means it can handle flips, dives, and fast tracking shots while still delivering buttery smooth footage with minimal editing. If you've ever edited shaky FPV clips, you know how big a deal that is. This one's easy to overlook, but it matters. Neo 2 is rumored to push flight time to around 24 minutes, a major jump from the original's 18 minutes and impressive for such a small drone. 
It competes with bigger camera drones while staying compact. Avatar 3 might break the 30-minute barrier, which is excellent for an FPV drone in manual mode. That extra time means fewer battery swaps and more flexibility when capturing extended sequences or flying in remote areas. Both drones are likely compatible with DJI's motion controller and Goggles 3. If you haven't tried them, it's a blast. Tilt your hand and the drone follows. Intuitive and immersive, but the experience differs. Neo 2 may lean into auto modes, quick shots, palm takeoff, subject tracking, features that are great for beginners and casual creators. It might also feature basic obstacle sensing, probably forward and downward, helping new pilots avoid crashes without overwhelming them. Avatar 3 is geared toward manual FPV. Expect faster acceleration, lower latency, and improved video transmission likely via 04. There's talk of omnidirectional obstacle avoidance, full 360-degree coverage using cameras and sensors around the body. That's huge. It means you can fly aggressively and still avoid collisions. A dream for freestyle FPV enthusiasts who want pro performance without building a custom rig. Neo 2 will likely fall in the $600 to $700 range. That's attractive for anyone curious about FPV without a major investment. An Avatar 3, expect $1,300 to $1,400. And that's before adding goggles or a controller. But you are paying for raw recording, hybrid stabilization, better sensors, and serious durability. We can't crown a winner yet. Neither drone is out. But here's our take. If you're just getting into FPV, Neo 2 might be the smart, budget-friendly way to explore without commitment. But if you're looking to take your skills to the next level, or want footage that looks like it came from a Hollywood film, Avatar 3 might be worth every penny. We're keeping a close eye on both. As soon as they drop, we'll be here to test, fly, and tell you what holds up in the sky. Thanks for watching. If you found this helpful, don't forget to like and subscribe for more camera news and reviews. Are you struggling to explain your idea? Your audience is not getting what you're trying to say. An animated explainer video is a perfect solution for you. Explainer video simplifies any complex ideas through engaging animations, transitions, voiceovers, and meaningful scripts, which all together create a fun experience for any viewer. And here comes 10 Studio a team of skilled professionals dedicated to creating engaging explainer videos. With over thousands completed projects, we have the expertise to create explainer videos that break down your message and connect with your audience. Get in touch with 10 Studio today.